Okay, so this is video number two. Um, so we are at you know building our navigation, and we had uh, about services products. So again, shift option and drag. You know, keeping your hand on the keys while you're dragging. Um, we also had events and last but not least, contact. You can have you know you have different. Um, navigation elements. These are sort of the standard ones. So, because I have you know the same sizes of all my boxes, what I can do to make everything even, you know, is by selecting, you know, moving one element sort of all the way to the left, and the last element all the way to the right. Maybe I won't go all the way over. And then selecting, holding on shift and selecting all the other elements. And notice how they are and they're not lined up. So I can use my align tool to align all the elements to make sure where it says align to, it says align to selection, not align to artboard. Align to selection. And then you will go and choose align vertical top. And then you can do uh, distribute the elements, uh, horizontally distribute the elements from the center. What I'll do is that will give you an you know, equal amount of spacing. Now I think this is like too wide. So what I'll do is I will come in with these, with the first and the last. And that way we have a little bit more of an equal spacing. It's okay if you know there's extra space over here. You don't want to do this manually by you know doing it eye level. So maybe I'll move my about in line with with my logo and I'm holding out the shift key as I move left or right that way I can it, it moves on the same line and I'll move everything down with the arrow keys a little bit and then I'll go back to the align tool and I'll distribute them again and now I have a little bit better spacing even though it's, it's not exactly yeah that's fine it's a little bit too much space and I'm a little picky with the spacing so I'll, I'll move it in slightly select all the elements and then align it uh, distribute center that looks a little bit better so I'm going to move my image now so alignment in the you know, web is really critical so you could certainly you know select uh, you know line like this could align with here hold on the two elements make sure you have the align tool is you know it's different here align horizontal left once again make sure you have align to selection Okay, so I have my image. Now I know I'm going to use my my seven twenty eight by ninety up here, and I'm going to use three twenty by two fifty here. So I'm also going to need some text. So I'm just going to paste and copy this. This is going to be my my header. So I'm just going to use a you know a much larger font. So I'm gonna. This is gonna be my sort of event page. You know, welcome to our annual walk for the homeless. Okay, so I need to, you know, make my headline a little bit bigger. You know, maybe I'm gonna align that to the left. Okay, so I'm gonna have this. So here's my headline, and then. I use a lot of paste and copy just because I don't like typing. And I need to have some text in here. And this will more unlikely be, you know, um, left justified and not all caps. So here I will add some text about the event. I should, you know, try like, you know, have at least, you know, at least a paragraph of text, you know, so it, it feels like you can get a, a good sense of, of what it will feel like. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just copy this and paste that in there. And just one space after the dot. Uh, hope to see you there. Okay. 
So I don't have much design right now. I just have the scale of everything. You know, I can certainly go in and change the color. You know, I obviously have red and black. I can go in there and I can use the um, the eyedropper tool. You know, uh, right now this is text. So if I do that, it's going to change to that. So, but I can, you know, I know I have my color palette over here. Uh, I can fill it with that color. Make sure your colors in your palette are RGB. Okay, so make sure you can double click on it and see if mine says color book. So I want to change that to RGB. Okay, so make sure your colors, even though you're pulling it from the swatch, make sure it says RGB on your color. Okay, say so OK. Black by default is probably RGB because we created an RGB file. So going back to my um, book jacket, you know, I had, you know, a couple of colors in here. And my book jacket was also, you know, CMYK. So I need to change this book jacket as well to change that color mode to RGB. So there's a lot of file prep you have to do before design. That's why I said this project is not really focused on the design of it so much as I want you to be able to, you know, understand how to change color modes and bring them into a file. So I'm not really taking, I'm not really putting a lot of emphasis on this project on it being a big design project. I want to make sure that you're, you know, changing all their colors, you know, to RGB and whatnot to make sure that when you bring them in, so whatever color, like this yellow color is RGB, you know, this orange color is RGB. I'm not going to use the blue per se. Um, this black color is RGB. So make sure with your color mode up, you check and make sure everything is RGB. So when you bring it over to, you know, the other elements that they don't, you don't bring over CMYK or Pantone colors. Okay. So let's say I have these two, I'm going to copy these two colors, bring them into my web page. So what's one fast way you can do is that when you have a color that you want to bring in, just select the color here on the swatches and drag it into the swatches panel. And you'll always have that color. I need the yellow and I'm going to drag that yellow you know, into the color slot. And I could delete it once I do that. So I have these two orange and yellow colors. So now I can, you know, maybe change my navigation to orange. And maybe I want to make my uh, my actual buttons, I want to make those white because my orange color. And maybe I'm going to add some bold to that just to make it a little bit more outstanding. You know, I don't really care for the black outline. So I'm going to take the black outline off. I still think I could bring these down centered a little bit. You know, if you want to add some flourishes in there, you know, like adding a line to separate, you know, again, this is a mock up, so it's not a really a big deal to be perfect in a sense of, you know, if you were going to send this to a, a developer, um, they'll probably do this in HTML, CSS in any case, uh, but certainly the logo and stuff, you can then export you know, as a PNG file. So, you know, maybe I want to do little flourishes like, again, I'm holding down the shift key and the option key to create these separators between the web page, between my navigation elements. Okay, and then maybe I need one on the front. Okay, so now that alignment looks a little off because of this, but that's fine. Okay, move that out a little bit. Okay, so I have my navigation on there. I have my image. I have my header, and my text, and my logo. And you know, I have the yellow color that I didn't really use, um, but you know, I'll definitely have it within the two banners. So I'll have some of that color on there. And yellow is a difficult color to 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 use on a web page against white. So I'm not gonna overdo the yellow. And then maybe if I wanted to have this as my event page, maybe this little block here could be yellow, you know. And um, so like if you want to do that, I could just create a rectangle like right here you know, and make that yellow. And then take off the outline and I'll go in real close. So that'll be my little tab to know what page I'm on. 
that's this is not a requirement for this particular project, but I thought I'll just show you that. So if you want to create and so now I have the text, right? The text is on there. So if you hold on the shift key, sorry, option. So that's here. And bring it to the front. And I'll probably change the color to black. Or maybe I'll change it to red. Okay. So while I'm on the events page, you know, this is the page I'm on. You could certainly use any of these pages that you want to be a home page. It really doesn't, or as a page for this project, it really doesn't matter whether you're on the about page, services, products, or contact, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I can bring in those two colors and it looks a little bit closer, you know, to the colors I have here. I also had blue on there. I could have added that, that color as well. Okay, so we have our, you know, mock-up pretty much done. You know, for the Illustrator part um, of the web page, and now we need to do is we need to create our two banners, our 728 by 90 that's going up here, and our 300 by 250 that's going here. So in the next video, I'll create those two banners and show you how to import them into the Illustrator file.